Okay, so today I'm going to be teaching you how to make a simple EDB puzzle. This is going to be very useful, especially for your class and students. And I know for sure because I've been using this for years and it's really effective. So what do we need? Okay, first you need to go to your browser. Find this, I'm a puzzle. Okay, if not, you can go to my description below. I have already written there. Just click the link and it will bring you here and keep it to your browser. Okay, the second one, you need to have a photo editor. If you have one, then that's great. But currently, right now, I'm using Pixel R to make all my EDB. So for me, I find it very useful. Uh, it's very easy to use, actually. Okay, and then the next one you need to have a two folder, empty folder. Create a two empty folder. Why do we need two? Okay, first folder, we are going to be saving all the jigsaw puzzle from the I'm a puzzle. Okay, so how is it? Okay, it looks like this. Okay, from the jigsaw, you have to snip every single puzzle one by one. Yes, one by one. And then save it to your file. The first folder, save it there. Okay, form one. And it's going to be look like this. Okay, so you can see the white thing around that jigsaw puzzle. We don't need that. We don't want that. Okay. And we need the second folder for that. Okay, the second folder, this is where we're going to save all the edited jigsaw. Okay, so this is how it will look like after you snip and cut each and every puzzle. You can see the white thing around the jigsaw. We don't want that. We need this kind of EDB. So it's very clean without all the white thing on the corner. So this is what we need for the EDB puzzle. So how are we going to make it? Okay, first you need to go to your browser. Choose any photo that you want to make a jigsaw. And so let's keep it there save it on your desktop okay keep it on your desktop so it will be easier for you to find it okay once you save that okay now we are gonna go to the I'm a puzzle number one upload the photo from my pictures second choose classic that is the shape of the jigsaw third one is the difficulty so we choose the easy one okay and then for that okay after you choose those one two three done okay now we're gonna start okay once you start this i'm a puzzle will be generating the puzzles so it's gonna be making the jigsaw now so there it is okay now this is one of the um, quite difficult part you have to snip each and every jigsaw puzzle one by one it means you have to cut it one by one how okay so how are we gonna do this each and every computers and laptops you have this feature snipping tool what you're gonna do you need to cut each and every jigsaw one by one until you finish the whole process okay cut it okay and then put it in your folder save it on your folder so why did we choose the easy puzzle earlier because normally easy one would have at least nine pieces of jigsaw puzzle okay that's all we need it's more than enough we don't need 12 pieces of jigsaw puzzle because it will be wasting a lot of time and we only have 25 minutes every class so we want to make every second and every minute counts in the class okay so once you are done doing the snipping from the jigsaw so now we're going to go to the pixel r okay as what you can see on the screen this is where you're going to be uploading each and every jigsaw puzzle okay click that button and this is how the jigsaw looks like right there's a white thing around we don't want that so click that scissor button once you click it you will see these things inside okay we have the magic wand click it second one remove and then click the picture the white part click it and it will look like this now so now your jigsaw puzzle is ready 
Okay, so that's it. All you have to do now is save each and every puzzle on your second folder. Okay, in this video, as you can see, we're starting to go from the first folder. Okay, bring it to the pixel R, do the editing. Okay, as you can see, we are doing the same process that like what I have taught you earlier. Okay, and also you can see that I am just trying to create my second folder. Okay, guys, tip number one, since this is your first time, try to create the folder before you start doing this so you will not get confused. I'm creating the folder while doing the puzzle because I'm already used to it. So I'm not already confused. So for you, this is your first time, so do the folder first. Okay, second tip. Okay, when you are trying to save each and every puzzle, for example, now we are making a farm animal puzzle. Okay, it starts with letter F. Okay, so you will not get confused. Try to save your file starting with F1, F2, until to the last piece. Okay, normally the easy puzzle would have at least nine pieces of puzzle. So you will have from F1 to F9. The second reason is that it would be easier for you to know which one of the puzzle from F1 has been edited and which one that has not been edited yet. Okay, so it, it will create less confusion for you. Okay, and then so we are almost done with the last piece of the puzzle. Okay, now we are going to go to the class in to see how does this look like when you drag and drop this in your a uh, in your class in classroom okay so we have here the blackboard this is where we usually test our edb or check some of the tools okay so just go to the second folder select all the jigsaw puzzle and drag and drop okay so guys as you can see it's all done okay so once you completed all the puzzle, of course, you will see the whole puzzle in much more nicer view. Okay, so that's it for this tutorial. Okay, I really hope that you enjoyed this tutorial, guys. And I really wish that um, you're going to share this with other teachers as well, because I know that this is going to be very useful for everyone. If you have mastered this one, making EDB, you will be much more creative in your classroom okay you can create anything you just have to be creative okay so again thank you guys if you have any questions don't hesitate to drop me a message on the comment below okay thank you guys and i hope you enjoyed this video i'll be making more tutorials um next time so i at least i can share some of the things that will be very useful for your classroom okay thank you Bye.